Following developments in Hazel Dell tonight, where Clark County Sheriff's deputies opened fire last night, according to family members, 21 year old Kevin Peterson Jr. was shot and killed. This all happened off Highway 99 east of I-5 just before 6 o'clock last night. We want to get out to Fox 12's John Hendricks, who's been there all day. He's live for us with the latest. John. Well, Pete and Camilla, this afternoon there was a group of folks out here, signs in hand, asking and demanding answers in this case. Tonight there is a growing memorial as questions mount as to what exactly happened here 24 hours ago. Evidence markers and flowers are what sit at the edge of the U.S. Bank parking lot in Hazeldale. So I just wanted to come drop out some flowers and show my respect. This is where last night, just before 6 o'clock, 21-year-old Kevin Peterson Jr. was shot and killed by Clark County deputies. He's literally running, like just running. And I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? He's like... I, I couldn't really understand him because he was just running. The mother of his young child, Olivia Selto, says she was FaceTiming in the moments before that shooting happened. There was like over 15 gunshots, probably 10 to 15 gunshots, and he just fell to the ground. Um, I was just talking to him. I was like, hello, hello, like, I love you, I love you. Camas police are leading the investigation. Not many details are being released from them. It's a tough day to have to be standing here in front of you. Today, Clark County Sheriff Chuck Adkins spoke about what happened, saying this all started as part of a narcotics investigation. He adds there was a foot chase that ended in this parking lot. The man repeatedly reportedly fired his weapon at the deputies. The deputies returned fire and the subject was tragically killed. Adkins added people should not rush to judgment on either side, knowing how rumors can spread. He says to hold judgment until all the facts in this case are known. As a community grieves, I call for there to be a respectful and dignified observance of the loss of life in this matter. For those in this community, they are shocked with what happened, devastated by the news of why these flowers along this fence sit here tonight. This is awful. And I'm like, I just can't believe it. I feel his family's pain, his friends pain, and it's just so unfortunate the way everything happened. Now, there is a candlelight vigil planned for this evening for Peterson Jr. It's set to start at 7 o'clock. The sheriff here is asking everyone to make sure that it stays peaceful. Reporting live tonight, John Hendricks, Fox 12, Oregon.